All right, Love Hip Miami, Love Hip Hop Miami, season one, episode ten, titled T and T, season finale. So we got Trick or Treat at the radio show. Uh, they asked them a question, "Have y'all ever smashed?" They both said no. They plan on having a barbecue. It's a free concert <clears throat> um, <clears throat> for everybody to come out. So they end up talking to them. And he says that um, men have feelings too, where if it's in him and Joy. And he said he ain't happy <clears throat> and don't want to give her a divorce. He had no intentions of her being happy without him. No divorce. But I really do think it was it's just more or less that he really does love Joy. He just doesn't know how to articulate it. So, and if yeah, my shit looks so fucking loud, so I'm telling y'all, <sighs> it's because I just got done laying down. So, whatever. I don't care. Screw you guys. Put it in like that. All right. <laughs> so, uh, pretty Ricky, uh, Spec, uh, so they're together. Spec brings up, you know, people not fucking up the image, more or less bringing up Slickum, you know, doing some scandalous shit. P brings up, you know, Blue working with Bucky. Of course, we all know Blue just has short man syndrome. But they're going to work things out. That's it. Gunplay <clears throat> is linked to his uh, spirituality. I think it's uh, Sanaria, I mean, that's what it is. Um, he's with his uh, Babalu, which is a high priest, and they're giving an offering. And he's wanting wisdom and um, self-control. So Kiara meets him on the beach. She apologizes. But she says that, you know, you keep putting me through it like you're playing me. Get help for yourself. Get rehab. She says she's been through her own shit. She's been shot three times. All I said she needed to do was like deal with that, relocate, come back down here, only to go through this shit yet again. And you know, she pretty much gives an ultimatum. <clears throat> so now we have the barbecue. So Tip and Bobby, Tip pretty much wants Bobby to go apologize. You know, pretty much wants him to admit um, that he was wrong. Did he? Cause, she, Cause I'm not sure if. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So <clears throat> there's that. Young Hollywood is uh in the like a van or whatever. It's him, I believe. Step on the is in there too, and you know he's calling tomorrow get on whatnot, and you know choose Veronica side because Veronica said that you know he's if he's gonna rock with her, he can't do shit with Amada. But then that really makes me wonder like, have they even done music yet? Because if they have, you can't really stop that. But okay. <clears throat> so Jojo and Amara are talking. Amara, you know, spins her up on everything. Amara just wanted to get at Veronica one good time. So in walks Steph, and she says that she had she only had the best intentions the last time they met up. Amara feels bad for Steph because she feels that she hasn't gotten the chance to see the real Veronica. <clears throat> so in comes Veronica and Young Hollywood. Veronica comes in and she is just talking cash money shit, just off rip. And she uh, tells Amara, you know, find music elsewhere because, you know, this right here, this is done. Uh, now, she is, and she's talking shit to JoJo, tries to get a JoJo now. <clears throat> JoJo have put her foot up on uh, the little picnic table thing. So she put it up on, like, the seat area. And Veronica <clears throat> was so focused on JoJo because she was about to go for JoJo, but she wasn't looking out for Amara. And Amara did her best to get to it the best way that she could. <clears throat> And, um, you know, Amara was asking secure, like, can I just get what in? I'll be okay. I just need just one. <laughs> and, you know, Veronica just wants to know why Amara wears a fake wig and selling false dreams. And Amara is just like, okay, I see what Steph is. Of course, Steph shows size, so it is what it is. Jeffrey brings Malik flowers and says that he understands um, his frustration. Jeffrey apologizes and says he will do whatever he wants. Well, I'm just like, okay. All right. So either A, you have no fucking self worth, or B, you just here for the come up. But all right. Trina and Bobby, Bobby apologizes and says he hurt. He hurt. I'm sorry. He is hurt. She accepts his apology. It's a done deal. Joe and Trick, she confronts him about <clears throat> not doing the divorce. He said he changed his mind and they need to sit down later. If he ain't happy, she can't be happy. He loves her and this again and this is again what I was saying her like he loves her but he just can't express it. <clears throat> so you have Malik um 
and he sees Bobby. So he approaches Bobby and, and he's calling him creature and queen, all these different things. So when he gets over there, you know, like they go in there and I didn't write down what for what the fuck they said because I really, I just didn't, it's not that I didn't care. It was just, I was kind of thrown aback by the shit because first, cause first and foremost, for like a first bit of dialogue, Bobby had bass in his voice. I was just like, oh, oh. Like I was just like, okay, well, well, Bobby's with the shit today, <laughs> you know. So, um, you know, like they just going back and forth, back and forth, and you have Malik, where you can tell that he feels inadequate as a person, just period, not even as much as a person, because he relies so much on money, stature, success. <clears throat> and he keeps the one that at Bobby is like, I can give Jeffrey what you can, woo, whoop, de woo. And then I could not hear, ex I, I couldn't catch exactly what he said, but Bobby said something along the lines of, <clears throat> yeah, I may be where I'm at, you know, but you, I think he said maybe like you use your mouth to get where you are, what you want, some shit. Like, I don't know exactly what he said, but whatever the fuck it was, it smooth got the fuck up under Malik's skin. And then Malik just like, you know, I don't know, hop your ass over, like, <laughs> go the fuck on. And Bobby is laughing because Bobby got what the fuck he wanted. Ultimately, he got you to show your ass on reality television and brought him all the way the fuck up out of character. And when he would do the whole hop over, like, if you guys remember from uh, Kevin Hart, I think it was Funny Little Man, where he was talking about his Uncle Richard Bobby, you know, just that whole thing. You know, that was shit like that whole speech. Like that's almost like who Malik was trying to embody. I don't fucking know. So now we got P. Joy, uh, Bucky, and Don. Now Don brings Bucky over, which I've already seen the reunion. I'm just mad that nobody go in the fuck on Don because it's just like Don is like bringing the drama. But she brings her over. Bucky says, "Hey, friend," talking to Don. "Hey, ex lover," talking to P. And then "Hey, snitch," talking to uh. Joy <clears throat> and Joy is pretty much telling her, Look, calm down. You don't want it. Buggy's like, I want it right now. I want a problem right now. And I'm just like, Okay, all right. Shay throws who first. <clears throat> Joy gets up, and Shay was able to get I said, Shay, I'm being not for saying Shay, but she was able to get her hair and snatches her. And then <clears throat> security ends up breaking them apart. And Joy is just kind of like, hmm, okay, okay, mm -hmm, cool, cool, cool. And then Joy breaks off trying to sprint at her. And you see Bucky do a little sprint, but you got to see in her face like she didn't want them problems. Like you could see in her face she was scared. She was like, oh, shit, it's about to go down. Because honestly, I don't think that she really wanted them problems. I don't. I really don't think she wanted them problems. And she did not know the opponent in which she was stepping in the ring with. And and I'm gonna talk about all this when I get to the reunion part too, because people have mixed feelings about it. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely get to that now. But yeah, Bucky looks shook to the motherfucker. Uh, and Shay says to Don that Trick should know how um, you know his girl is out here being. Uh, <clears throat> so we pretty much in after that because you know uh, Trick and uh, Trick and they do their performances and whatnot. And I'm just going to sit here and sum it up with who I really care about. JoJo sided with her mom. Her daddy pretty much cut off completely. Joe is still trying to get his divorce. Gunplay and Kiara, they are together. He checked in the rehab. P says Pretty Ricky was his best and worst decision of his life. We're trying to figure out how to fuck with this shit. Your worst, because had it not been for the group, you never to fuck mine. Bobby and Trina are in a good place, and he has learned that his actions have consequences, and that was the fuck it. And, of course, y'all know I rise for Myra. It ain't much to say because she got a multi-million dollar motherfucking deal. Just released her song, Insecure, which I've been bumping that and fucking Tony Rax as um, long as I live. Like, again, that gives me such a, you know, stepper's vibe. Like, y'all know I'm from Chicago, so, you know, we step in, you know, footwork and shit and juke. So, yeah. But that's it. That's all I got. So appreciate you guys for watching. The next video should be uh, Little Women ATL. So yeah, break out, subscribe, share. Bye.